Hi folks, in previous video tutorial you have seen how it's possible to calculate and analyze the 3D model with Creo Simulate and today I'd like to explain to you how the system work with meshing at the behind and all the details. So we will create new 3D model, will be mesh and we will create simple shape. It will be only rectangle, doesn't matter. It can it can be like this and specify some dimensions. The object will be really thin, so for example, will be something like shell model. Yeah, you are able to create shell feature also, but it's fine for a quick example. Later on, you know that it's necessary to specify the units if you would like to calculate it correctly. I always use the Newton and second, and we need to transform the model with one to one. So the if you will double click and check the dimensions. Dimension will be not changed. Yeah, okay. So it was a really quick example how to create model, but we would like to focus on the Creo Simulate and meshing. What does it mean? In the 3D model, if you would like to calculate and Creo Simulate with Creo Simulate, you need to specify material displacement and force. It's okay. You have seen the example in previous, but you know that system somehow at the behind working with the meshing and create the polygons. If you would like to check the mesh, you are able to refine model and select the outer gem. And if you will create, the system will show you necessary information. And right now you can see here that we have some information. For example, minimum and maximum angle. Yeah, what the system will do. So for example, here is some angle or for example, the aspect ratio. So we can imagine that over here is the rectangle and the longest edge and the shortest edge has some ratio. So you will divide it. For example, this is the four, this is the two. So the ratio is two. And then we have uh, angles between edges. So over there is the two edges and also here are edges or between faces. So we are able to manage this information on how to do. So please, you can see here that how the system create the mesh. And if I will apply some preferences, we are able to select Autogem again in settings and in the settings are top limits. And over there, the, for the shell, the PTC mentioned that the, the good values for the shell object is 165 as the maximum edges and faces and minimum is 5. OK. And for maximum aspect ratio, so the longest edge and the shortest one is 5 and angle between two edges is 85. And if I will come from OK, the system will show me warning message and then if I will use again to create you can see that system create the different mesh and again the elements was increased and notes also so what does it mean right now the calculation is better because the quality of the mesh it's the concentrate if you would like to concentrate your mesh to some points you are able to create a points. So for example, I will create a point on the surface and we will specify some dimensions. And for example, I will move it here yeah, because we would like to see how the system will create a mesh here. And one point for the example is good enough. We can apply visibility and then we can use the control. So hard point. So I'd like to use the hard point. The point was selected. You can choose more if it is there but we can focus on this first point. Then again, I will reuse and create the mesh. And you can see here that right now the system concentrate the creation of the meshing and the polygons here and on opposite surface is not here. Yeah? So you can see that this really work. And if you would like to see how to simulate these polygons, you are able to select the simulation display and in the mesh, you are able to select shrink and for example, 10%. So system will show you the gap and then you can see the necessary displays for the mesh. So it's really nice. Preferences. 
but I don't need uh, this gap here. And we would like to continue. And for example, I'd like to show you more that you have more controls. So please check what is possible to do. And I'd like to show you that, for example, you would like to create a custom curve. And on this custom curve, again, you would like to create a custom mesh. So for example, I will create on the line here. Yeah, something like this. You can apply dimension, confirm OK. And again, we will create control hard curve. Curve is selected. I can confirm OK. And if we will use the auto gem again, the system will reuse this curve here directly. Yeah, so you are able to manage mesh as you want. We need to imagine that also we don't want to only create a custom mesh and focus the and concentrate the preferences and calculations, but also, for example, you would like to apply some loads and constraints on the surface. So you are able to select the surface region and define the surface region. So where you would like to apply, for example, force and you are able to specify the shape. Yeah. So over here, this is the surface, what I would like to apply and confirm OK and on this surface. So right now, if I will check, the surface is separated. So it's possible to use the force of displacement. Yeah. But what does it be happen with the outer gem? If I will create the gem, you see right now that system will create the polygons for me and also will reuse the entity from the surface region. Opposite direction, it's not connected. Yeah. So because it's only surface. Yes. And if we would like to speak about the volume region, yes, of course, if we will apply volume region, you can see here there is extrude, revolve, sweep and another Creo features. But for this example, we will reuse volume region as the extrude feature. And again, we can create, for example, the circle. And if I will come from OK, you can see that you are able to manage the depth of this feature. Yeah. So, but for now, I'd like to reuse the full. So go through and OK, because we would like to see that is impact on the both side. So very quickly, we will create auto gem. And also you can see here that right now the system will create the mesh and polygons and necessary polygons and focus and concentrate the calculation on the selected objects here. So again, we can simply to show and shrink the elements, maybe something bigger to 15 and OK. And you can see that volume region is extracted. In today's video tutorial, you have seen how it's possible to create a setting for the calculation and meshing, how you are able to create the hard points and hard curve for the special definition of your custom mesh, or what does it mean if you are if you will create a surface region or volume region, and then it, the system also apply it for the meshing and you are able to, for the selected surfaces or volumes, specified load and constraints. If you like this video, please push the like button and follow me by YouTube or donate me by coffee. Thank you and bye bye. Vladimir.